Kevin Ninemeyer with Milestone Homes. It's all about custom homes in your world. That's really your bread and butter. So you're about catering to what a family wants in their house. Talk to me, talk me through how you get to know that family. How do you figure out what it is that, that they really need? What do you see? Whenever I start to deal with a, a new couple, a new customer, I ask them to give me a list. A his and her list. I want to know the things that are important to him and the things that are important to her. Now most people can't afford everything that they want so we try to mesh this list to where they're both absolutely happy with this with this house before we ever even get started. And this house we're standing at over in South Lubbock not completed yet. You still got a couple more yeah, weeks we, we of finishing touches. We got a few more touches, weeks to finish on it. Mm -hmm. But it's awesome. So let's go inside and check out how that his and hers list worked out for this family. Please. So open concept for sure. That's the first thing you notice when you walk in. Mm -hmm. That seems to be everybody wants to open concept. The, the gray colors are, are still in style. Um, you know, log, large windows, entertaining space on the patio is, is always a huge feature. This particular kitchen in general has, has, has been a great selling feature for us. Tell me more about the customization we're seeing in this kitchen. The first thing I noticed walking in is this arch. It's a double barrel ceiling um, and we designed this off of some, some pictures I'd found. So we tried to tie all these corbels together from the, from the cabinets up to the ceiling and take the, ca the, the cabinets themselves all the way to the ceiling and just really try to blend it together. And then another thing, immediately you notice this double island. I don't think I've ever visited a home with a double island, but I imagine for the working woman who maybe also loves to cook, cooking on one, work and school kids on the other, this could work for a lot of families. The, the, the floor plan that I designed originally actually has two ovens in each, one oven in each island. This particular couple, they wanted to move one of the ovens over here, which would normally be countertop space. Of course, that was their option. And um, So here we've got an oven here and an oven, and an here. oven there. Uh, but it's, it's just a, it's a wonderful kitchen with lots of countertop space, lots of um, features to it. Um, it's, it's, it's been a great seller for us. Now when I look at this, I see gray and white, but it's not. It's actually gray and gray. It's just gray and gray. Now you told me an interesting tidbit. It took how many? 160 gallons of paint. To find which color? To find the, the right shades, yep. Oh, funny. You're committed. I'm committed. If that's what they want, you're going to make it happen. <laughs> so what, 20, After 25 years, I should be committed. <laughs> what else in this home, what could we show that really just shows those customization techniques? Maybe those things that when I'm looking to build a home or even purchase a home, I don't think to put that in my house. But uh, there's, there's little was. things, you know, like puck lights up in glass door cabinets. We've got, uh, they opted to go for a whole wine rack, wine fridge thing over here in the corner. Uh, swimming pool in the back and then we've got a big shop. Um, we can do absolutely anything that you want to do, whatever your imagine is, imagination is and, and your budget. So, Kevin, one of the things right here above the stove top is this pot filler. Yeah, it's a, it's a hot water pot filler. It's just a, an option that, that um, some want to, to take. It's a, it's, a, it's a great feature. We've got here, we've got spice racks on either side. We've got cooking How utensils. Is that? Just grab the spice. While you're cooking. Mm -hmm. We've got cooking utensils. Um, most of my kitchens, as a standard feature, we don't do doors. We do all drawers, making everything easily accessible versus having to crawl around and, and find something on that, on that bottom shelf. This has been a huge selling feature. This is actually a low cost uh, addition, the, the double fridge freezer. Um, I can get those installed for what a normal refrigerator costs. It's, it's been great. So if we have the house that we can put it in, we try to do that. Another thing I see here, Kevin, is floor to ceiling. I feel like we're seeing that a lot lately. Floor to ceiling, cabinetry in the kitchen. If, if I'm doing a spec house, we generally do that. If we're doing a custom, that's completely up to the customers on whether they want to have the space to put vines or ivy or whatever up there. and, and uh, of course, these customers opted to go, go to the ceiling, which I think is a nice touch. And these bold island colors, that seems very common as well. It's very common. Um, and, you know, sometimes we'll do them where they're stained or we'll, we'll paint them to give the kitchen a, a different contrast, and it's a, it's a wonderful touch. You found another gray. You fit another yes, gray in. Yes, another gray. <laughs> we have four different tones of gray in here. One, two, 
counter? And then you got one up on top. Oh. That's different? On the face of it, on okay. the other side. Okay. So here in the master bedroom, one of the things that looks like you put almost first in this bedroom is the convenience of the light switch. Explain why people love this. Uh, this is one of my trademark things. There are several things. I do a, a bed stand light with windows where the master bed's going to go. They have like his and her switches. You can control them from each side of the wall or each side of the bed. I'm sorry. These particular ones will actually be built into the bed when this one's finished. But this is just one of the, one of the things that I, I like to do. So that way when your partner falls asleep or when you just want them to go to sleep, you turn them, reading turn time them is over. Mm -hmm. Another thing on the other side of the wall here, that those uh, uh, elevated... It's, this, this seems to be the, the, one of the biggest trends is the, is the big TVs on the walls. You know, we have them over the fireplace, inside, outside, and in the master bedroom, we will typically um, wire it for a, for a TV to go on the wall. So it'll be above their dresser or wherever they want it. And it's about convenience, convenience mm -hmm. for the homeowner, convenience for the people building the home. It takes up less wall space, so you have more room for furniture is, is the biggest benefit that I see. And you don't have to deal with that ugly cord. Right. No ugly cords. And then, of course, another focal point, this trade ceiling. Uh, this is one of, one of, another one of my personal touches. We do it a little bit different from everybody else where we have some eight inch pockets up here that we try to fill up with a, a two step crown and um, it, it works great. It, it looks, it really adds to the bedroom. It's a good feature. Adding to the elegance of the home. Mm -hmm. All for what that family wanted. Yes ma'am. Now I love the gray in this kitchen, but you have another one. No gray. No gray. I got a, got a completely warm concept. Let's go take a look. Cool. New house, a couple miles across town. Let's yeah. see something different. Let's go. This beautiful kitchen, very different than what we just saw. Yes, this, this whole house has more of a, a warm, welcoming um, feel to it. Verse, and still light and bright, but it's not the, it's not the painted kitchen. We went with, uh, with more stained cabinets and, and just, a, just a different feel. It's warmer, and you also said no gray. No gray, there's no gray in this house. <laughs> And does this kitchen have spice racks also? Yeah, this one does. We have them in, in the inside the built in here on either side of the range. So that same detailing and then wow, what convenience. Mm -hmm. All for the Again, home. we have all drawers in, in the bottom cabinets. We have USB plugs that don't take up the, the outlet itself. Every house comes with 10 guide lights that come on at night. Um, so you don't have to flip on a switch to go to the bathroom or to walk through the house. You don't have to come into a, a dark house. We have every house gets automation for the lights outside, living room, master bedroom. Uh, you're able to control your garage door opener and your thermostat. All that is, is standard features. Talk me through automation. Let's kind of elaborate on that a little bit. This is for convenience for people on the go. Oh, I forgot to turn this off. It's, it's safety reasons. You know, if you're scared to come home at night, you can turn on the lights from around the block. You can have it on your phone where they come on automatically at a certain time, or it can sense it in your phone as to your, your location and automatically open and turn on certain things. Um, it's just all about convenience and, and safety. You know, um, I have mindset where they come on at, at sunset and turn off at, at sunrise on my exterior lights. You can put your Christmas lights on a schedule, on a timer, however you want to work it. Walking through the master bedroom, of course, the closet king has made a closet just about everybody could love. Self-imposed that. Um, if, if we're able to get 10 foot ceilings, we can go with a third rod. I really hate wasted space. So in here, you just have, by the time your clothes are up, you just have enough walking room to, to get to your chest of drawers. You've got a place to sit down. Put we go your ahead shoes and on. take the yeah, we take the shelves all the way to the ceiling so we're not wasting that space. Sure you might have to get a ladder, but you know, those shoes that you only wear once or whatever can go up there. Exactly. Switch them out seasonally. Mm -hmm. All things that people just love, those finishing touches, those special things that really make it my home. And, and maximizing your space, absolutely. So how am I supposed to get to that rack? They're, they have <laughs> I use a hook. They make okay. a hook. To be good at. Sometimes we can do retractable rods if we have the space. This one would be not allowed because we've got this one here. Mm -hmm. But uh, very oh. neat. 
And in the last few years, it seems like the outdoor space and being able to entertain out here has become a lot more important for homeowners. Yes, it has. I, I think I did my first one about 15 years ago, but here the, about the past four or five years, it's it's been a, a, a growing thing that people just love. Now we just put up the with the wind, but enjoy it with our friends and family. Right. And so here we've got the grill, we've got a fireplace. Mm -hmm. we're, we're plumbed for a TV over there over the fireplace. We're plumbed for another TV oh, right awesome. here. We can control some of the lights and stuff out here. We've got a faucet and a grill and uh, it's it's a wonderful space, wonderful space. They're so done up now that it's almost as if it's an extension of the house. You just lose the AC. That's correct. And that's why we have some fans. <laughs> And these exposed beams, how often are you putting something like that in a home? Oh, these are a big deal nowadays. Um, we, put, we put a beam of some sort of fashion in probably every house. You know, they're from the, from the 70s. It's, 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 it's coming back. 